Okay. It's talking about the conductivity of electricity. So in order to you to conduct electricity, we know that the key idea is it must have either mobile ions or mobile electrons. These are the two important ones. You must have either one of these. So in a solid state, even though you have ions, can they move or not? Cannot move. Cannot move, what does it mean? It just stay put. So therefore, it cannot conduct electricity. Now, the difference in between molten and aqueous is they can move. So when they can move, what will happen is there's an electrical current. Electrical current means it's an electron pass to the ion. So the minute it passes to the ion, this ion can move what? Think of it at a minion like that. Huh? Uh, it helps to carry the electron from point A to point B. Therefore, electrical current carry across the board. That's how you conduct electricity. But if the ion is fixed in position, oh, too bad, electron is here, pass to here, you track here. You cannot move. So cannot conduct electricity. Okay, so that is actually the main reason behind it. So in the molten state, on the echo state, you can move around, conduct electricity. Cannot move, cannot conduct electricity. Let's take a look at the next part. Now, number five, we will temporarily skip it. This is under electrolysis. Electrolysis will come back in next year when we come to this chapter. So remain as you are, don't just cross it up because you need this out. No, this is a complete set to tackle chemical bonding. Next page will be your turn. This is a new trend of how exam question will look like. Can you give you a try on question number one, two, three, and four? I will give you a total of four minutes. Then later, we will go through together. And after that, you'll be going for your break. 